just for old time's sake. Thought I'd come and give Erms a little wash in the Broughton River again. Hope it's no deeper than it was last time. Turn right onto Main Street. And it's goodbye to the town of Spalding. Two nights at their wonderful town. Second best pub I've been to. Um, even though Essendon got flogged by Sydney. Um, spoiler alert to anyone who In still has watched it. In metres, turn left onto Davies Terrace. It shall be so. Uh, yes, town of Spalding tapped out. Brilliant, brilliant set up for turn left onto Davies Terrace uh, yeah, okay okay uh, brilliant set up for um, camping and RVs and whatever for 19 you... kilometers continue straight on okay that's out, enough out of you thanks uh, yes fantastic setup there you can camp on the oval well, not on the oval but next to the oval the sports oval um, beautiful little campsite it's got toilets it doesn't have showers but they're getting showers apparently uh, you can get power from the clubhouse, there's water, and it's free. Very, very cool. Nice little town, lovely people. They seem to all go to the pub on Saturday night, which was last night and the night before. Um, so I met pretty much the whole town. I think there's only 240 people in the whole town. Um, and now it's off to Ed's place. Little, little campsite near Murray Bridge, uh, the town of Murray Bridge. I might put the kayak in the water. I'm not sure whether to stay two nights or just one. Uh, we'll see what it's like when I get there. Now, to address a very important issue that I'm sure the more observant of you noticed, I was banging on in the last video about completing the lap. Now, if you have been following, you would realize that, of course, I set off westwards and then doubled back through Renmark and got to the, basically the Victoria New South Wales border, border at Eden. Which means that I didn't do the east, the southeast coast of Victoria. Now, this may be an issue for the more pedantic of you out there, or me. Uh, however, I'm doing the lap the way I want to do it. And I've seen that coastline all the way from Melbourne to Mallacoota so many times. Uh, that it's not high on my itinerary list of things to do and see. Again, I, I love it, it's a great coastline, but uh, if I get time or if I can be bothered between when I get back and the start of school, I might pack the car up again and head out there for a couple of weeks and see what happens. Um, but ostensibly, I have covered now the entire Australian coastline at some point or another. That's my justification and I'm sticking to it. Have a lovely day, I'll see you from Ed's place. So I'm driving on my way to Murray Bridge through sort of our back Australian towns and just in the middle of nowhere in all these grain fields, um, I saw this really cool church. And I, <clears throat> I kind of want to once, um, I don't know whether I'll find a place, but somewhere like this, I'd love to spend the night, just find some old abandoned cool building and uh, and spend the night in there. Um, and this one is open. Bit of a fixer-upper. That's kind of cool. Probably rats and everything in here. Unfortunately, all the stained glass windows are broken. They would have been awesome.
The word of the Lord endureth forever. But these buildings don't. I get to go on a ferry again. Very exciting, going across the Murray. There you go. In 250 meters, exit the ferry. Woohoo! I love ferries. It's so much fun. I've arrived at the town of Murray Bridge. I'm guessing it's called Murray Bridge. Because there's bridge over the Murray. There's actually two bridges. I think I'm about to drive on the new one. It'd be just like Port Augusta, the opening of the new bridge. Oh, I kind of like the old one, but anyway, maybe that's a train bridge. Yeah. Uh, the campsite's about 30 clicks out of town. So I've just arrived at Ed's place, just out of Murray Bridge on the River Murray. That's my little campsite down there. It's got a little port loo and some rain, uh, river water. Um, and this is the Murray right here. I'm going to go for a kayak this afternoon. A little paddle on the Murray is always fun. I'm so tempted to steal this boat. It's, I mean, it may not look like much, but uh, it's even got the name Serendipity. I could sail it back. Sail it back out the river, out the river mouth of the Murray, and then up along the Coorong and, and into um, into Victoria. What could go wrong? Yeah, we'll see. All right, so I've mastered the time-lapse video. So I'm going to show you from woe to go. I've just pulled the tent and the chair out. From woe to go in time-lapse setting up. Should be fun. So that's it. It's all set up in about, oh, I'd say probably 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. And this is the simple version of the tent because of course it's South Australia and it's every day is howling winds. Um, so I'm not gonna put the awning up. Um, but aside from that, um, I've gone the basic one mat sleep, sleep version rather than the, uh, the blow up double bed because it's only one night um yeah all done there's a couple of spoonbills i don't think i've ever seen spoonbills in flight go. I am on water. I am on Murray. It's um, blowing a gale downstream, so that's where I entered. See? You go for a little paddle. I am returning to the greatest state in Australia. It is the 17th of May, five months and one day since I left. And uh, here we go. This is it. Goodbye, South Australia. You um, didn't cover yourself in glory. I am back home. Woo!
And I'm back in Vic, in Dartmoor, Fort O'Hare campground, on the banks of a river, which I have no idea which river it is. It's very clear water. No crocodiles in here. And look at that beautiful green grass of home. Perfect for setting up a tent, free campground, tables and chairs, it works. It's the Glenelg River. Oh, I've paddled that with Ashton. And I believe we got in around Hutchison's, I think it was. Patterson's Canoe Camp. No, it was Patterson's Canoe Camp. And we travelled all the way into South Australia and then back into Victoria. And got out at Nelson. And I have now reached Cape Bridgewater. I was driving down to have a look at the surf before I go up to my church. It is my church, really. They, they're just looking after it for me until they decide to sell it, and then it'll be my church. Um, <clears throat> there was a little bit of surf in Portland when I when I stopped to have a look. There's a kangaroo. Don't jump out in front of me, Kangi. Thank you, Wallaby. Yeah, there's a little bit of surf in Portland. Um, a few people out. It looks cold, but. Uh, going to have a little look down here, a little look see at the uh, Bridgewater Bay, see what the surf is doing. It is so nice to be back in this place. I love this place. I don't know why I love it so much. Um, I, I think part of it is, no matter what the weather's been at on the approach, it's always sunny here, which is weird for Port anywhere near Portland, which is like the coldest and most despicably weathered place in the world. Oh, wow. Ho, 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 ho. It's always just gorgeous. And there is quite a lot of swell. Oh my goodness, what a place. <laughs> it's decked out a bit fancy for my <clears throat> My modest taste, but uh, I'll fix that when I buy it.
Chewie, we're home.